Hi, I am your techie friend, and I'm here to show you how easy it is to create a PowerPoint presentation with VoiceOver. In this presentation, I am only focusing on recording into one slide containing a picture. Then I will show you how to save your presentation. But let me start with some helpful hints for a successful presentation. First, include a title page. In each presentation you create, make sure to always start with the title page. This will engage your audience in telling them who you are and the topic you will be talking about. Second, write a script before recording. In order to save time and avoid recording and re-recording, prepare a written script with everything you're going to say in each slide. The script is also helpful to you because it keeps you focused in adhering to your topic and saying only what you need to say, no more, no less. Third, remember to smile. When you read the script, smile, and you'll be amazed what a positive impact you will make on your audience when you use a comfortable tone of voice. Fourth, verify that you have a working microphone installed in your computer. One of the most challenging aspects of recording is not to be able to record audio properly. This is why it's so important to check to see if you have a working microphone installed. Many laptops today have a microphone already integrated. As you can see in the image, the little hole to the left of the webcam is an integrated microphone. If your computer doesn't have similar to the one in the picture, you can purchase one with a USB connector, which is very easy to install by just plugging it into your computer. Remember that in order to record your presentation successfully, there must be a working microphone installed in your computer. Now that I went over some recommendations, let's get started. Step 1. Create your content slides, including your title page, as well as images. Step 2. Select the slide you wish to begin your recording to select it. In this example, I will select a slide containing a picture to talk about it. Step 3. Once the slide is selected, click on the Slideshow tab to open the Recording Slide Options toolbar. Once the toolbar opens, click Record Slideshow. You will be asked to select one of two options, Record Slide from the Beginning or Record from Current Slide. You must choose one option. Here, I will select Record from Current Slide because I'm only going to record one slide. A Record Slideshow window will pop up. Leave both options checked on, then click Start Recording and begin speaking right away because you are now recording. If you want to take a break to breathe, press pause in the toolbar that is located in the upper left hand corner. Step 4. Save your work. To save your work, click on the File tab, then select Save As. A window with the same title, Save As, will pop up. Write the name of the file and the Save As type as PowerPoint presentation. Then click Save. Watch the following short video demonstrating the steps to record I just explained, including how to save your work. Select the slide you wish to begin your recording. In this example, I will select the slide number 3, which contains a picture. Once the slide has been selected, click on Slideshow tab, which is up here, to show the recording slide options toolbar. You see the record slide to show? You select it and then start recording from current slide. Once you see this little window pop up, you don't have to uncheck anything. Leave it as is and click start recording. And you are now recording from this slide. So I can say, I see a man down the walkway with a tie and a suit, a lady at the end of the picture, down the sidewalk. Also, there are a few cars parked and a flag of Texas. And let's say I'm done with this recording. So I hit pause and it tells me that I can resume recording. That means that right now I can take a breather, relax. And then if I want to add more to this recording, I just hit resume recording and it continues the counter. See how it's going up? That means it's still recording. You stop the recording. I hit escape and it takes me out of the slide show which means it stopped recording. I'm done with the recording and all I have to do is save my work. So what I do is I go to File, select Save As, and then I select from computer where I want to save it. Normally I will save it in my desktop so I know where to find it. 
I assign a name to it, a uh, class presentation or whatever you want to name it. Okay. Uh, make sure it says PowerPoint presentation. Now, if you want to post it as a video, you have many options that you can change it to. I recommend that you save it first as PowerPoint presentation because if you need to edit anything or change or add, then you add to it and then you save it as your final work as a movie or a PowerPoint show. But for now, let's save it as PowerPoint presentation. Click Save. And your recording has been saved. If you want to double check, you just go to your desktop and here it is. Go to the slide that you want to review. When you see a little icon like a little speaker down below here, that is your actual recording. And all you do is you come here and hit play. And you are now recording from this slide. So I can say, I see a man down the walkway with a tie and a suit, a lady at the end of the picture, down the sidewalk. Also, there are a few cars parked. Now, the, the entire recording is done. I just wanted to show a little preview. And then all you have to do is just save it one more time, just to be sure, and close it. And you are done. Let's do a quick review. First, make sure you have a working microphone. Create your content slides. Click on the slide you wish to begin your recording to select it. Once selected the slide, click on the slideshow tab. Click record the slideshow and select one of the two options. Select file to save and then save as to save your work.